And as necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah! At last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, its vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I know. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Good and fine, except what if something goes wrong? Seriously, you're on your own. We all are. Just like that. No room for friendship in this business. Additional security measures, traps, any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, will be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out. Why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the city watch. Blabber anything about this over here. And I'll kill you. With the old man.
If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Evelyn, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. City foul, shy all over again. What? Trolls turning round. We've one minute. Move. Oh, little here. Oh, mother, keep us from. serves. You assured us there be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Gotta agree. Backing out's not an option anymore. Need to see this through, whatever happens. Hallowed words. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go.
here for now. Knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The vault. That's our target. Is that clear? Yes, but we shall raise the starting pr- Watch this! Guards! Guards! I should have stayed in that cage. You said- I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee. Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself! No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So we want a wagon. And horses. It's the middle of the night. Where am I to find a wagon? Rather go looking for caskets? <laughs> he means it! Good point. A wagon, then? What kind? Time he took a gander downstairs. Vaults open. Radovid's coronation carriage. Nothing less. Drawn by two Snow White mares. Do you think the situation is just? Do you? Ah, no! You're both right! This is no jest! I want us to reach an agreement. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But you must not ask the impossible! Second time you're turning me down. Shit negotiation tactic. It seems the negotiation's not my strong suit. Nor is it yours! Attack! Oops. Tip the scales.
splendid job. I'm a witcher, not your negotiator. Where's Eveline? Just fled. All the better. Your hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Come on! Shit, as if I haven't seen enough except... Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. i 
surrender. You don't stand a chance. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. Look for the spare key. Battering ram! Run and get a ram! You'll pay for this! Surrender! You don't stand a chance! You don't know who you're fucking with! On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you all... Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them!
I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving ill heart. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Oh, if you won't. Then walk out as you stand with just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Bersodi's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family. Fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated? What'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, we're even. Now, Max Borsodi's house. If you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. Hmm. <sighs> Dumb, but have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. At your service, mate. <laughs> <laughs>
Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me what you have in stock. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Your kind spreads disease. Ah, oh. Need to chat. I'm all ears with you.
I've got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. I think I might find the stomach for another, once your final wish is fulfilled. <laughs> you really don't like me, do you? Hate smartasses. Hate it when they try to use me. It's why both are dead, and why you should tread carefully. Noted. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tankard. And then. Then I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah. What happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well. Why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there! Yank the herring out the barrel. Come on, none of this dallying. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. 
And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. I'm afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dornless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. The 
Let's go. Lower. Come on now. Kendrick? Kendrick? You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F f foglets Oh, sweet mother my little why I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things going to rot. And... Mm -hmm. So you're a thief. Thieves steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but...
What? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh still manure. tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who. A grave? Here? What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. Beehives, well maintained but dormant. rotted completely. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Gardner's hut. Rope looks new. Could it be? Look, it's been repaired. Tools are so organized, it's scary. Tools are so organized, it's scary. Busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging.
unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Another thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where, exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You know the master of the house? The owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the Violet Rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions.
So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. and everything's clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table.
damage. Interesting. Wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies? 
Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Mm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear, yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you...
Can I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw so you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. The spirit from the steppe. Read often, well worn. was painting the manor. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Perfect match. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are 
Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. for a special occasion. Another memory. Wine cup, just like the one Olgierd's holding. A wedding veil? Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything.
isn't something. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face. Another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. This might be hers. Just a little different than the painting. Castel Ribello. A Toussaint wine. Expensive.
My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? again. almost gone. Towel stained with blood. A nightshirt. Never worn, I think. stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Geared, 
But the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. just like the painting. just like the painting. This goes here. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Blood packs. 
or on foreign presences. These wax candles. The gates of mystery between worlds. The library of an occultist. Some kind of magic, I bet. Chalk. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. This. Mm, not even a fizzle. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Father? 
drained to the last drop. So this is when he started smoking. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Probably not right. between Iris and Olgeard. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The Olgeard I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here, forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No. He merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, 
care for the house, no matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard.
You won't do it. You'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. <laughs> Happy to be a man. 
wonder the delusion.
disguise. Him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift.
got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell.
winds howling. Slower. That's it, Roach.
Go, go. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. Show me what you have in stock. Show me what you have in stock.
so long. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draught. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. More treats! Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Gauntero Dim. Also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grab their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft-desired unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you, and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, You've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. 
As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. But this applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we share. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You toss this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. That eyes. Mark of the devil. He were there, alive, a moment ago. Blind ah. drunk he was. Maybe he fainted. Fainted? Ah. He soaked mm. in blood! Shani? Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving. Any intention to, either. I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could have. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Well... You take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Algird asked the professor to do some research. The professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The professor, where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. 
Some of the faculty think him a traitor, say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty patch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? I mean, since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. Are they in the same bind? To Radovid, there's little difference between the two. Seems to tolerate you well enough. Because he needs me. For now. So, the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey. Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass, not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone, which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. Long live, etc. Et I feel like you get up.
Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream?
Yoko's lesser key. Tomes about demons, dusty as they come. Franco, is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Look at blazes. How do you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please. You know. Gaunter old dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. I came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating, I was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him, or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. Olgierd sign one of these pacts with him? Brilliant deduction. Have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know? His fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope, 
The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. Pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Odin delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. So did Olgird kill his own brother? No, oh no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Old Dim at his own game. Meaning? Old Dim wheels contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasant itself. <laughs>
Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. You're an art lover. Thought you'd appreciate the place. A witcher with aesthetic sensibility. Forgive my disbelief. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? I think... Think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me? After all that's passed. Iris. What a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What's happening? I feel as though... As though... A hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone's... How do you feel, Von Emmerich? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfill three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well... Do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! No! Here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon. Our contract you fulfilled. Boss, you cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geards. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. See me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Olgird will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane. 
But no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? Didn't quite catch the riddle. Mind repeating it? To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry, and I weep. Yawn, and I sleep. Smile, and I too shall grin. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. You like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. You can't possibly ogle an echo. Children delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you?
Really, Geralt? Unable to resist a few shiny coins. I truly expected more of you. Especially since time is short. the riddle to all things and men I appertain and yet by some am shunned and disdained fondle and ogle me till you're insane but no blow can harm me or cause me pain children delight in me elders take fright fair maids rejoice and sing cry and I weep yawn and I sleep smile and I, too, shall grin. Mirror. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Come now. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? So you say, yet I wait and wait and nothing. Is this place <laughs> you like it plenty more where it came from just remember you must find me before time runs out
is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life... Which reminds me, time is running out. So, any better? Yeah, thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. You know what, though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign. Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. 
Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Mm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. Not true. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I've a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness and defeat. My life is a ruin. say I envy you. As the saying goes, careful what you wish for. Oh, I shall be. Believe me. Actually, I have a better idea. I'll never wish for anything again. It's time I took fate into my own hands. Live life anew. And truly, this time. Sounds like a plan. I'll never forget what you did for me, Witcher. I have something for you. Can't accept this. You can. And must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow! Sorry. You needn't be. I thank you again, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too.
you want, eh? You've seen better. What's an oddity like that doing Ooh. here? You needn't shoot. The fair Geralt of Riviera, I presume. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Sold his funeral. I <coughs> am fuck. Okay. Did he have no? He had Heathen. Roll back under your rock. Oh, he's a war veteran. Spare me a crown. say about you lot? If you seek justice, I'll a witcher.
You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Show me what you got on offer. Show me what you got on offer. Farewell. Witch hunters will see to you. <laughs> Honor in the fatherland. <laughs> Exercising witches. <laughs> <laughs> 